I'm going to ask you to join me in a spiritual exercise all week long, and that is to develop and use the God-given gift of patience. You'll find that it is a tremendous power, much more powerful than being impatient or trying to push our way or trying to demand that things come around to our way. In James 1, verse 4, it says, Let patience have her perfect work. Well, I pray this week that you are empowered with a God-given patience and that it gives you a gift, a power that you may not have had before or fully recognized and that you're able to utilize this express this for everything in your life. And it will be a week that you'll remember, a full week of patience. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. My friend, I pray that you accept this God-given gift now, and I pray that you use it. Today, God has set a gift before you and what is this gift? It is the gift of patience. God gives us the gift of patience. Patience with ourselves. That's a big one, isn't it? Patience with our efforts. Another big one. Patience with our impatience. God gives us the gift of patience. Patience with others and patience. Patience with those who seem to be at cross purposes with us. Patience with those who frustrate us or seem to make our task more difficult. Patience with children. Patience with those who serve us in any way. God gives us the gift of patience. Patience with mistakes and mix-ups. Patience when we have to wait. Patience when things seem out of order or out of harmony. God gives us the gift of patience and says, accept this gift now. And we say to God, yes, I will accept it. That's a big one. See, God gives all the time, but we don't accept all the time. And you accept this gift this week. And you use this gift this week. We give thanks to God for the gift and the power of patience. It is a needed gift at any time. But we accept this gift now, this week, and we use it for the benefit of ourselves and for all.